there seems to be a lack of women in the beer industry. And I'm the type of person that if you want to see change, it needs to start with yourself. And my way of change is to do beer reviews. Despite not knowing anything about beers and, you know, possibly adding to the stereotype. Why do I do it though? Story time! When I first moved to France, I hated wine. If somebody poured me a glass and would ask, hey, what does it taste like? It tastes like wine. That's what it tastes like. It's wine. Like, what? What kind of question is that? I didn't understand because I knew nothing about wine. I learned that there are actual differences in how it tastes. There's good wine and then there's not so good wine. So when we moved to Belgium, I knew I didn't want to make that same mistake. Yes, I'm not the biggest fan of beer, but I also don't know about beer. I had it once and I didn't like it. And so in my mind, all beer sucked, but that's not true. Now, when I came to this conclusion, I didn't think at all that I was going to put a review on YouTube. I am self-centered, but I'm not actually that narcissistic. No, this decision came after watching other beer reviews. So in my journey to discovering Belgian beers, I did what any other person would do, and I put it into YouTube so that I could watch somebody else do it first. And it left me very, very angry. I ardently wish that there was a way to travel through a computer so that I could go to the other side of the video and scream at the people who made the video. The first beer review that I ever watched was made by a group of men. I personally didn't think anything of it because I'm not a feminist. In fact, I didn't even care until they started saying some really, really, really dumb crap. First off, the beer that they were reviewing was a beer I knew. It was by Lindman's. And I know Lindman's. I'd done research on it at that point because it's an interesting company. The beers have an interesting story. Yet these people knew nothing about that. And that annoyed me. But then it got worse because they tried the beer and they didn't like it. Now I'm not going to fault them for their horrible taste. I'm going to fault them for the fact that they proclaimed that it was a woman's beer. What now? Don't tell me that the only beer I'm allowed to like is sweet beer. Because if I need to go across Belgium trying every single freaking dark beer that has ever been created under the sun, I will do it just so I can come back and be like, yeah, this dark, bitter beer is a woman's beer. Eh. But it gets worse. The question was posed, what is a good occasion for this beer? To which a guy actually said out loud, this is the beer that I would give to a woman that I wanted to sleep with. There's just so much wrong with that. Let me just say, in case this actually needs to be said. You shouldn't get people drunk if you want to sleep with them. That's wrong. It would be called rape. Don't do it. What is wrong with you? Psst, no. Number two, and I speak for all women, 100% hands down. I don't even need to go and ask them. I just, I know in my heart and spirit that I can speak on behalf of all of them, that if some man offers me some beer that he deems crappy, that is not romantic and it isn't going to sway me in their favor in any way, shape or form. In fact, it's going to do the opposite. It's going to make me think you think so little of me that you're not even going to offer me a good beer. Like, no, don't be jerks. Anywho, so that was a lot of fun. And after that happened, I went through the YouTube search again 
And after going through 15 pages, I found two women who don't seem that active anymore who reviewed beers. And I thought to myself, these men aren't doing it right, so I should just do it for them because I'm sexist. I am. Really though, I'm not sexist. I'm just, I'm a woman who is interested in beer. And I think it's dumb that there are people out there who say stupid things like, this is a woman's beer and this is a beer that I would give to someone if I want to sleep with them. That's stupid. So, so stupid. Just... Stupid. If you are someone and it should not matter what's between your legs, provided that you are of legal age to drink, you should be able to drink the alcohol of your choice. I hope I can resonate with some people and just share some of the interesting tidbits that I find on my journey to discovering awesome beer. As always, subscribe to stalk me, follow me on Twitter, and I will see you tomorrow. Tootsies, Mayapple Zines.